Hi guys, thanks for joining me. In this video, I'd just like to touch on the topic of is table tennis a spectator sport? Um, and just give you some of my thoughts and see if you guys got anything to say about it. Uh, the reason I'm discussing this one is I've got in my mind from uh, a little while back, I was watching the ITTF web stream of the Australian Open, um, which they, they had on live streaming. And I had been following um, the progress of William Hensel, one of the Australian players. Um, and because I know I've met him a couple of times and seen him play quite a lot, I was interested in how he was doing, you know, and hoping he would do well. And what I found and what got me thinking was that watching William play, William played very well, but the actual match itself as a spectacle wasn't a great match to watch. Uh, it wasn't full of amazing points. Um, it was kind of a bit scrappy um, because that's how William wants to play. He wants to stop the opponent um, getting into big open rallies. So it's not a criticism of his style. It's just the way the actual games turned out. Having said that, though, I was still interested in watching. But the reason I was interested in watching was because I was interested in William and how he was doing. I wasn't really particularly... Uh, enjoying point after point after point because it wasn't a great, great, great game to watch. So, however, with table uh, in table tennis in general, I think a lot of the modern game of table tennis kind of mirrors that these days is that there is the occasional really great match. But for me, in my opinion, probably eight, nine times out of ten, most of these matches between world-class players, uh, I don't find really entertaining to watch. I don't find it particularly attractive to watch the actual game itself. Um, I think that's just the modern style, the, the, the way the game is played, isn't really a great spectator sport um, to watch on TV or to watch, you know, to watch the pure game itself. So how, how can we improve that? Well, I think, the two ways that we can improve that and make that more respected sport is firstly, have people more invested in the players. So I watched William because I've, I've met him a couple of times, seen him play a lot at Australian Open, and I was interested in how he was doing. But as soon as he lost in the semi-final, I turned off. I wasn't going to watch the final. I'm not interested in the other players. I don't know them. Um, they don't. I'm not really like the way they play i don't so i wasn't going to watch it i was i was watching for william and interested in him the more you know i think the more we know these players the more we know about them and have someone to support people that we like the more people will watch they'll come to watch their favorite players or they'll watch it on tv um, the only other way i think we can do it is maybe take a leaf out of something like poker and have a production value that adds to the excitement I mean, poker itself isn't particularly exciting to watch, but you can watch some of these World Series of Poker because in the production, they've added all this entertaining commentary, entertaining analysis, entertaining other stuff. So it, it can still be something interesting to watch, even though the poker game itself isn't all that. And I think that's where, at the high level, I think the ITTF, if they want to get table tennis as a TV sport, in its modern form, they're going to have to do it in the, in the production values and really try and lift that up to make it, even though the actual game itself may not be riveting, they can entertain you in other ways through that, through that medium. Um, table tennis as a spectator sport in person when you're live and you're actually in the, in the auditorium, what I find is that tends to be more exciting because the speed of the ball, the spin of the ball, and being there translates better. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff that I would find boring, and um, I'm probably showing my age a little bit here and, and stuff, but I, th I think for myself, I've seen a lot of veterans table tennis between 50-year-olds that I find much more entertaining than watching the young guys at the Australian Open that I've seen. Um, I've seen a handful of great matches at the Australian Open between young guys, um, but I've seen many, many terrific matches between vets um, at, at the Australian veterans and the New Zealand veterans. 
um, awesome matches between attackers and blockers, attackers and defenders, um, even just two, two attackers. Um, the level's not quite as high, and because the level's not quite as high, the rallies are a bit longer, you can see what's going on a little bit better. Uh, it's not all serve and kill. And because of that, there's some, some really great stuff that I would come and watch. You know, I would almost pay to, to watch that sort of stuff and go in and see it. Um, so I think as a live spectacle, it can work better. But I also think that uh, we need to, if the ITTF really want to improve this as a sport, they need to be kind of thinking a little bit about, well, what makes table tennis a spectacle? What makes it entertaining? And it may not be what I find entertaining, and it may not be what you personally find entertaining. But if we really want it on TV or we want crowds coming, I think we all have to ask ourselves, what does the average person of the public find entertaining in table tennis? And if we want to bring those guys in as spectators, just like they do for um, football, soccer, um, all of that sort of stuff, tennis, what does the public want? And are we willing to change our sport to give them to give that to them? And if we do, we should maybe get spectators. If we're not willing to change it, we, we probably probably will stay fairly niche unless I think we can say steal the production values from something like poker and take a, a mediocre spectacle but in the production room, turn it into something that's entertaining. But gee, wouldn't it be nice if we actually had a really entertaining um, game of table tennis all the time that didn't need much uh, actual production room expertise to turn into it? And I think you find, and for myself, um, the game between yeah, the 40-year-olds, the 50-year-olds of good attackers, good defenders, good blockers, good lobbers, but not overpowering attackers, the rallies and the games between these guys are, are generally you know, really good to watch between the good players um, because nobody can serve third ball kill. You have to earn the point most of the time. Um, so for me, yeah, I think we've either got to we've either got to change the sport to what the general public wants, and if we're not willing to change the sport, well, we're going to have to improve our production values to make it an entertaining thing. Otherwise, we're we're going to be stuck where we are now, playing people playing in front of empty venues and nobody watching the sport on TV, um, which is a shame because it's such a fantastic sport to play. Uh, so anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, if you've got anything you'd like to add, um, feel free, uh, throw in a comment and um, add to the discussion. So thanks for listening.